All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Papa Stones coming back with a, another gameplay video of this PPG 5K. This is Sabine Yellow versus Palpatine Blue, round five. Let's jump right into it. Looks like it's gonna be a long one. So we got Nick Narches on the right playing Palpatine Blue, and Frank Myers playing Sabine Yellow. I think. Nick was already on the feature match. I think it was like round two or three, maybe. So, yeah. I mean, we know he's a decent player. Uh, I'd be willing to bet, if I had to guess, it'll probably be a Sabine game one win and a team game two three or maybe double loss but they probably won't double loss on stream but oh boy the double spec for soldier that's pretty ballsy oh and this guy's got papered right life down freaky I guess we'll see what happens here like I said I think it's gonna be Sabine game one. Is it Sabine yellow? Oh, I just noticed that. I, I said it already, but I forgot. Like, it just weirds me out. Let's see what we can do here. Dude holds his hand freaky. Dude on the left. The way he just kind of like fans him downwards. Probe droid trade, sure. Not really good value for him, but he knows he won't win a race, that's for sure. I feel like playing double spec for a soldier is ballsy. I mean, if he has childs, it kind of makes it worse. But, you Lauren, you, you Linnell, whatever. I always forget it. <laughs> it's whatever, but comes down, heals one immediately, which is weird to me. The weirdest ruling I've ever heard. Is that a row op? It must be. Dude claims. Deals one to both. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, when did you heal one? I was writing down, and he's like, I played this. Draws a red three and a Sabine. And the way he holds his hand, I can see his cards pretty well, but at least the first ones he draws, but it's kind of freaky. I can't lie. It looks like dude's holding onto a child's in Nick. But I think he also has a takedown. I'm wondering. It takes four there, right? Yep. This has raid two on it. Uh, he's got to adjust his dice. Just because the dude's using paper. Mm, yep, pays four for child's and reveals takedown and vigilance. I'm pretty sure those are both hyperspace foil, but I could be wrong. So it's what a four four on Chalton. Play Sabine. Sabine unit. Dash for one. Yeah, good play, good play. He looked like he was about to flip too. Does he yeah, he flips his Sabine. Can't really walk into Chalton. Is that heroic sacrifice? Okay. So he swings in with heroic sacrifice, deals one to base, kills Childson. What's he putting a damage counter on for? This is Bean's dead. You just attacked with it. 
Are they just gonna let that slide? Like he didn't just heroic sacrifice his Sabine? Hello? There's no way. He, oh my god. Bro, he had to trade his Yularen into something that's already dead. What? There ain't no way, bro. Are they saying anything? No, hold on, we gotta... They ain't even talking about it, bro. That's mind blowing. Dude, they don't even mention it. Like, they just pretend nothing happened, bro. Like, that's crazy. I didn't even say anything about what just happened that entire turn. Just could do it. That was cheese, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really... What are they pointing about? Oh, I got it. Well, the door is open for Frank. He's got... Three Sabine. active, two swings. Green. Sabine can still come out. And a wing. Yeah, absolutely. Time out. I was about to say, they're not doing anything. He just... One, two, three, it looks four, like... Six, seven, so he's still one off top of him, too. I mean, I'd seen dude waving and shit, like, it's fine, they but... They might be trying to get a ruling on something. It almost appears as though they were discussing something, and, and Frank almost signaled for a timeout. Uh, it's because someone in chat says uh, he activated Heroic Sacrifice, um, which allows you to attack, but at the end... Uh, it does defeat the unit. Holy shit, how can chat actually decide that? <laughs> You're telling me you guys can't decide plays? Like, you can't commentate and tell me what's going on, but the chat's like, oh, bro. Heroic sacrifice. And then they're like, oh, pause. Heroic sacrifice. You know, like 17 actions ago. Honestly, I'd be willing to bet the judge asked because the way that this dude and the camera's talking you know waving and like smiling and shit saying like oh it's fine you know it's whatever oh it, no big deal i'd be willing to bet he told him like game state's irreparable you can give him a game loss because that's how that should work honestly like i mean you don't obviously have to take the game loss like what like what's probably happening he's like no it's not a big deal or they could make him just say you know wash those last what is it eight minutes give him an eight minute extension or ten minute extension probably longer honestly because of how long this is taken but start fresh start over like there's technically that or realistically like i said you could probably slap him a game loss because dude cheesed you bro like i mean i get it you don't want to be that guy but at the end of the day you're playing for five bands like i mean i don't know how much it's you know first second third whatever but it sounds shitty. I mean, I won't lie, but I it's like big money on the line and you you literally got screwed. I mean, I don't know how much of the outcome it would have changed, but still like that blows my mind. I don't know. I've played too much. Like played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. I went to a decent amount of events. And... Like, it sounds... Like I said, like it sounds fucked up. But, like, these people aren't your friends 95% of the time. Like, you're generally playing someone you don't know. 
And it's like when there's big prizes on the line, man, it's like, I'm not going to let you screw me because there's prizes on the line. Or I'm not going to let you screw me because whatever. Like, you made a mistake. Like, yeah, you did. And that's going to cost you. Like, uh, it's crazy. But now there's, there's a time and place. Don't get me wrong. Like. You obviously don't want to be rule sharking somebody 24-7. Like, like, oh, you, you you tapped your resources or you untapped your resources before you drew your cards or whatever. Like, you didn't properly regroup or, you know, shit like that. Like, that, that'll drive a person nuts. But, I mean, things that'll change the outcome of a game because of uh, something you did. Like, it's kind of a gray area if you ask me, but... I don't know, man. Because I think this game's over. Like, like I said, I I don't know if there's any coming back, regardless if the Yalaren stayed. But still, the fact that he had to sacrifice it in Disabine when he could have either made him walk into it or gotten more healing from it or whatever it may have been, but. No, I don't know. Let's get back to the game. I'm, I'm, I've ran it on for too long. It just blows my mind. But I, just, I think I, I lied. One more thing. It's crazy to me that the the casters of this didn't say anything though. Like, aren't you supposed to know the game, or at least somewhat know the game? You didn't catch that. I don't know. Shady dealings. Palpatine comes out, snags that fleet lieutenant. Okay. Three to base. Smacks you to 27 on the base. Got a vigilance arm. The judges. So someone's there. I mean, you see someone else's hands move in all the time. Like. They didn't see. Oh, I, I'm just mind blown here. Looks like he's got reinforcement, Wasker, Childs in, and maybe entrenched. Ugh, that's tough. That means you have to entrench the wing leader to not die. Or you could Palpatine. Yeah, that's more like it. Palpatine swing, kill the dude, pop, deal one damage. Yeah, that's better. Now we're cooking. Goes up to 28. Slams down a walker. Immediate meal. Don't even look at it. What's he got? Ooh, a falcon. Ooh, three from the Falcon. <laughs> All that hard work just to heal that, just to get pinged down again. It's criminal. Mm -hmm. Why does the Falcon look so yellow in that? <laughs> like, even in, like, TCG Player, it looks very yellow when you see it. But, like, the actual card art does not look that yellow. He plays the Aztec gunship. Is that the one with Ambush? I think it is. Hey, you windmill those resources, bud. See, I mean... It's probably over from here, right? Asfi pays one for Falcon. He does. You attack with Walker, right? To try and heal. I mean, he's made it longer than I thought he had. Excuse me. 
Mm -hmm. I don't even look. I mean, granted, you want to know what it is, but... Mm -hmm. Take that damage off. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look. Judge Man puts a dice on. You're at 10 damage. Falcon for 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to 28. Yeah, is that that entrench that we saw earlier? I think it is. Yup. Yeah. Oh, it's Pirated Starfighter. No, that's not what that is. Is it? Huh. I guess. Maybe I'm tripping. Neil one. <laughs> They're like trying to do it for the camera, bro. <laughs> and the dude's like, nah, I'm taking my notes on my piece of paper. You're at one. One HP. You do doesn't have four calls yet. Oh yeah, Falcon over Falcon, bang bang. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, thanks for letting me have that one, bro. Like, now here's where Palpatine comes in. You side in. Probably half your side deck at least. Assuming that's, I mean, I could be wrong, but there's probably, like I said, at least half the side deck. There's two. I wonder if we're going to see it all. This looks like, uh -oh. what? <laughs> no. Kitty. Doggy. I gotta yell at them. No, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Loki, you're not being nice to the cat. All right, why am I watching this? <laughs> I gotta fast forward for a reason, don't I? There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast forward. He wants the initiative. Big shocker there. Oh, look at ILR. <sighs> The X Wing. Dark side. Pings in for one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dark side. Hit him with it. Dark side. That is the worst. At least he has a red three, but. Uh, nothing feels worse than when you're playing and like as the Sabine player and you you don't have initiative to start and you play one, it gets power of the dark side and you got fleet lieutenants and wing leaders in hand and it's like, well, this sucks, but luckily for him <sighs> He had a red three. Wait, what? Oh, he must have passed. I say because he still had initiative for sure. Oh, maybe not actually. He dark side. He plays red three. He tags. Yeah. So he might not actually have initiative. They just didn't move the coin. 
Mm, system patrol craft and is that another power? It is. That's a juicer. Mm, there goes the cat climbing up. You little mischievous rascal. Sabine. I wonder if he brings it out again, right? Heroic sacrifices it again, right? <laughs> oh my god, that drove me nuts. That put me on like a five to ten minute tangent, bro. Like, hey, you swing. No. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's Spec Force. Uh, it looks like he's got a barrage in hand. Is that two barrages? Maybe after this one, but I think he's got at least a barrage in hand. Whew. Oh, yeah, spin five. He's definitely got a barrage in hand. Oh, yeah, add one for red three. Duh. <laughs> Chooses to target the threes. It makes a lot of sense, honestly. Get rid of the raid. Get the most value. I mean, if you tried to kill off Sabine, it's got five health, so your other ping would be worthless, to be real. Like, <laughs> but he could have something else. I like a wiggling to do something. <sighs> I'm not tired. I don't know why. I think he does have a wig leader in hand. That's what it looks like. He does. Okay. So he probably juices the boy. Yep. But now do you walk in? Get put down to 1 HP. Uh-huh. I mean, you could technically take out the child's head if you walk in. It won't die this turn, or like this exact moment, but it'll die at the end of the turn, so I mean, it's not bad. Is that a Lando in hand? That's pretty bizarre. Did he just claim? Huh. I think he did. You definitely hit face. Which is crazy as the control player. Just, ah, that's a nice leader you got there, but imagine if I punched you in the face instead. Gorilla attack, pause, back for soldier. He's got Lando in hand. The Lando is wild, dude. I mean, it's got Saboteur. And, I mean, technically, Speen plays really low-cost cards, so. Makes enough sense. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm yawning so much, honestly. Because he got that other barrage that he didn't resource. Mm-hmm, take two. I see it. <laughs> Is it coming down again? It would be good. No way. It might not be. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be good. You force the Sabine to walk in and die. But, I mean, you die too. Uh, it's It's kind of debatable, honestly. Yeah, because, I mean, now if Sabine doesn't walk into your child's and you're... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
And I just let him know he's dead at the end of the turn. Who cares? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Walk in with that bad boy. Put you down at 18. He's got another child's in hand, I saw. That does the Lando come out here. I want to say his hand is Spec Force Lando and for a cause. Is that 14 on base? Yeah. Mick is winning the race here. It is the Lando. Whew. Yeah, you better add some of those back to hand. What do you got? You got Red 3, Falcon. Or maybe not Falcon. That might be the Liberator gunship thing. Oh, it's up to... So you technically, do you not have to do any? Since it's up to, like, can I do zero? Huh. I feel like you'd have to do at least one. I could be wrong, but I, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't do zero the way it reads. I don't know what he just grabbed. I know he grabbed the attack pod, but. Mm -hmm. He taps out. Child's is dead. Oh, he sacks it with Palpatine. To draw one. Man, this guy's a gamer, bro. I don't even think about that. Granted, I'm not a Palpatine player, but man, that was smooth operating. Because if he did nothing, it would have hurt you to do that. But the fact that he played the Lando, you can get value immediately. That's sweet. This dude's solid. No cap. Now it's damage too. I mean, granted, you're only at seven, which kind of sucks. If you were to like rip a resupply, though, imagine just swiping the Lando from him, bro. Is that heroic sacrifice on Lando to punch for eight? Dang. He did not want that stolen. 22 on base. Yeah, that's that's dangerous territory, that's for sure. 20 on the yellow base, though. Uh, I think Nick's in the lead currently. I could be wrong, but... That was a big swing from the Lando, dude. Eight to the face. What a burst. Oh, nice. The one cost repair. That for sure came in out the side. That's, that's solid. Still got six resources, too. Four cause. Four cause. Wing leader. So what he burns him for three here. I'm wondering if he stacks that four cause too. He does. That's kind of tough. Vig oh, mills that bad boy. Oh, he milled his second or his third copy too, so he's got no more for a cause. Dang, that was smooth, dude. Those are good hits. I mean, he's still got Falcons, but 
the amount of surprise burst that can come down is so much more minimal now. That looked like a governor that he just resourced. Trades immediately. Make sure he can't get hit for any more damage. He's only at 18 now. He healed 8. I mean, the Lando did 8, and he healed 8 that turn. That was a nice turn for him. I mean, they're still playing it out. Dude's still got a shot, but... I think Palp is at full control here. down there. Oh, the Inferno 4. Okay, that's a nice one. I'm texting. Zach's to deal with damage. Yep, but he's gonna steal it. He plays a Falcon, yep. An immediate patrol craft comes out. He's had that for so long, bro. Dude claims he flips pout, steals the fighters. Yep. Deals four. I wonder if he sacks the fighters for freedom just to ping one on the Falcon so he can't survive. I didn't think so. Oh. oh. Spaghetti. Oh, another repair, dude. Yeah, Nick's got this one. Look at your hand, scoop him up. He's got lethal with one palp swing, and you don't play healing in Sabine, that's for sure. Ain't no way you're pushing 14 damage in one swing. He's really thinking about scooping him up. It's a tough thought process. I got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay. Scoops him up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast forward. Uh, oh, rewind. Okay. Ooh, that is a disgusting cut bro he doesn't put the other half on top for you he just gives you half of it he's like here's your pile bud 12 minutes left the video itself has 24 how is that even possible <laughs> I'd be willing to bet there's no double loss they probably just let him ride it out I feel like they think that rule's done holy shit Dude drops a red squad A wing. Dude immediately claims he's got to have a dark side in hand, is what he's saying. Resources his laser tech because he knows it's too slow. Yeah. Oh, the fuck? Oh, I was like, what just happened? I thought he just added it back to his hand. Ooh. A good answer, though. That's twice now that it's been rough. Like, the Dark Side's been good. Don't get me wrong. Dark Side's a great card, but the fact that it comes down and he's got an immediate answer that isn't like a wing leader or a fleet lieutenant, which I feel like happens a lot more in Sabine Green. I could be tripping, but. Pays one to keep Falcon. Uh, I wonder if he takes down. Oh, he does. Kind of surprising he didn't save it for Sabine, but I think he's probably got more options to deal with Sabine. And his air options are only... Ooh. That hurts. Another five. I was about to say, his other air options are probably system patrol craft. Ooh, that looks like a child sent off the top, though, so that's nice for him. I'm kind of glazing right now, but... 
I wonder if he's debating not resourcing. Like, I mean, you have to, but... At the same time, like, you want your child to get big value, right? Yeah, I figured, but... Oh, another takedown. Okay. Got three for a red three. Claims again. Ugh, four more. So he's... Ugh. This is looking tough, bro. I think that was a vigilance off the top, though, also. Which could buy you another damage worth a turn, depending, obviously. Oh, a vigilance in the back, too, so he's gonna think he's got two. Yep, uh huh. Smack for three. Smack for two. And just like that, his attack washes. Oh, but the Sabine Ping comes in strong. One damage on the board. I thought he had a wing leader. Unless he sent it back. But I mean, you kind of just windmill slam your hand, don't you? Four cause Greedo. Oh, that's tough. I guess he's only hitting for three there. Yeah, I was about to say, probably puts the fleet lieutenant back. Bins the rest. I <laughs> set it backwards. Judge is like, no! Is that wolf? And that's tough. I mean... We need a, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you would have played that. No, there was no time to play it sooner, but. The wolf is a good tech into this matchup just to cut the healing, but I'm pretty sure dude had a second vigilance in hand, so he'll probably just beam it. What did you just take two damage off for? What? What just happened? I'm... I'm so lost. Why did he just take damage off? Sixteen. Dude didn't play anything. Did he? Yeah, dude played the four cause, burned him for three. I'm so lost. But did they like miscount along the line or something? What just happened? Why did he just heal eight?
that confused me, bro. I don't know what happened there, but we'll see. He claims again. Smack him for two more. Ping him again for another one. So he'll be at 19 instead of 22, I guess. Now the question is, does he commit another guy? And I think you do. And hope he doesn't have super laser. Because if he don't, yeah, why? Uh, I don't know about that one. You know he had another guy that cost three. Or at least I'm pretty sure he did. <sighs> oh yeah, who cares? He doesn't... See, he doesn't even have the super laser. So you'd hit for three. not want him to heal anymore apparently but that leaves Palpatine up ready to steal he's four for a system patrol craft okay I'm following you still three to base 21 Still not sure why he got that health back, but I don't know, man. That's trippy. Trippy, trippy, trippy. One, oh, another repair. So he's back to 18. So much healing, dude. Look. He's played two Vigilances, two Repairs, two Yularans. He's healed 18 damage off of his base this game. Oh, man. I feel like you bring out the Palpatine here. Take the Fleet Lieutenant. Sure, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. You got a 3 1 body. You can sack to draw, too, if you want. You can bring out a 4 10. Yeah, uh huh. Snag that bad boy. Swipe into the Lieutenant. Oh, to plays attack pod. Okay. I feel like you definitely trade off the lieutenant now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gotta just throw it at him, why don't you, bud? Sack it off. Ping one on the ship. Draw one. Just because you don't want the attack pod to walk into you. Yep, four more. So he's at 23. Clean. He does have that governor in hand. He's waiting for that for a cause. I'm wondering, because I'm pretty sure I also saw a barrage in Nick's hand. One drop spec force K. Yep. Gets him for another two. That's tough. Yep, 25. Was 28 apparently, but we're going to ignore that. Just because I don't know what happened.
No barrage. Oh, I thought he had one. It's a 3 5. Changes his mind. He doesn't like that. He's confused. What do I do, brother? I need to order my pizza. Oh, shit. I missed it. The change of heart on the system patrol craft. Into another system patrol craft. <laughs> That's tough, bro. That play would have been so sick, dude, if he didn't have another one. He does have a barrage in him, so that's kind of good to know. Um, that's <laughs> that's funny. So now he can walk the patrol craft and his dude into that, but or he can just not and keep his dude, I guess. But. He pinged, yeah, uh huh. The governor, yep. For a cause, I'm assuming. Does it say? I'm wondering. And a regional governor down for Nick. I don't know exactly what he called with that, but I would not be surprised if he caused. Or if he called for a call yeah, it doesn't say, but he drops a K2, and the only things you were calling were K2 and for a cause, so it's definitely for a cause called there. guys yammer for a little bit I gotta hold it this pizza is important right now with double system patrol craft and oil guard breaker from Warren this is gonna be sad if this actually does go to time they both lose because this one is definitely one that I would have loved to have truly seen how it played out especially where their state is right now this is a really really good game by two very very good players Absolutely, this has been a fantastic match to watch. Here comes overwhelming barrage. That's going to take out the attack pod. Boost up Palpatine plus two plus two for the phase. It looks as though Frank has just claimed the initiative. So now Nick swinging in with regional governor. System patrol craft. He's got. Oh no, okay, so it's just a pass from I Frank. guess he just passed, yeah. I, th I thought he claimed the initiative. Yeah, just too. passed. Yeah, I, th I thought so, but he, he does play. Yeah, I was going to say, because he really was about to swing out. Three more damage to base. That's 15 on now for Frank. And Blonde Sabine. Blonde Sabine is in trouble. Blonde. Once again, looks as though Nick has been able to stabilize. Nick, do it again. Can he finish off the comeback after being down 0-1? He did it in round four against Boba Green, looking to do it again mm. here in round five against Blonde Sabine. Check out the saboteur, yeah. Uh -huh. The palp takes out the... Like, taking out the rogue operative. Royal Guard into base. Here on stream is showing oh, of course it shows zero. zero. They're probably just letting them ride. Exactly at the table. 
They are still going to another turn. The fuck is he point clicking and shit for? And a great point from chat. May have some extra time because of that judge call earlier. He shoots first. Not shoot first. The what are we at here at plus three plus zero. On you, base now. you walk into the Royal Guard. He's trying to sneak attack with K2SO. Did he for... <laughs> Oh, bless. <laughs> Does something have savage bar? Is he able to get around? Okay, so he does. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, how is he getting around this? Okay, so yeah, just surprised. Bro, I'm willing to bet he thought dude was going to die. He's probably like, I'll walk this in. K2 will die and I'll kill him. <laughs> That's tough, bro. Bad beat there, bud. It's not heroics. If it was heroic sacrifice, you would have won. Dang. is bugging. He's just attacking his cat. Hmm. Gives it infiltrator, huh? I mean, they could attack your base, right? No, but it's got one damage on it, so that's rough, bro. Dude just walks his patrol graft in. I'm a little concerned for him though. This isn't over. I mean, dudes, at what? Oh, or is that only 24? Yeah, it's only 24 because he healed. Never mind. For some reason, I was thinking it was at 29, and I was like, uh, not 29, but. You know, ping down with Sabine, 25. I think Nick has to claim pretty early, though. He might just claim here, honestly, because I think he still kills him next turn. And this way, there's no way you lose, right? Because if he claims now, swings with Walker, goes to 28. The only way you die is heroic sacrifice but if he swings out he's got what three one four two is six yeah he's one he's one damage short i think you'd honestly just claim now and then hope he doesn't i mean even if he does have heroic sacrifice you get a play first and you can just walk something into that. Like a literal walker into it. And then he can't play forward cause because you still got Governor up. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're taking their sweet time here, bro. Yeah, oh, there you go. He claims it. That's a good call. Draws. No sacrifice. It's over. It's wraps. As long as he doesn't misstep somehow, it's wraps. You walk her into the K2. You got another walker, okay.
Mm -hmm. You just walk her into it. Just kill it. No, no, no. Just walk her into it, bud. You're overthinking this. I promise you. He can't deal five damage from hand. There's no possibility. Unless he's got something with ambush that isn't ambush that can attack bases. You're really thinking this one through, bro. I mean, come on. Swing into it. You're killing me. Beat its ass. Yeah, uh-huh. He deals three, you heal three. You mill it. You don't care what it is. You mill it. You just got a Lando and a raid operative guy. It's over, bro. It's, it's, over. it's over. I don't know. Why am I still watching this? Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, that was it for me. That was a long one. It was a burner. He had another walker. He could have dropped down, but still. That two damage that, that could have came, or three damage that randomly got taken off. I still don't know why. I could have came back. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to see you guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's it for me, though. Uh, if you enjoyed, drop a thumbs up. Shout out to PPG for putting this journey on, uploading the content, and I just get to commentate and race hell. So, yeah, drop a thumbs up for me, drop a comment, let me know. Till next time. Peace.